issues with the firmware update 2.2 for the Matricom G-Box Q2. What we're going to be showing you in this video today is how to downgrade back to 2.1. Uh, the reason that I'm going to want my clients to downgrade is going to be because with the current version 2.2, the uh, remote support is no longer working. So that's just not going to do. Uh, we're going to have to downgrade because I have to be, make sure that uh, I can provide you with the best service possible. So uh, let's go ahead and get rid of this. So the first thing you're going to have to do is download the Matricom 2.1 firmware. Uh, I am providing a link for you here uh, in this video. So please download that link. You should end up with three files, a recovery image, a factory update uh, param, AML, and uh, the update zip. Uh, what you're gonna need to do then is to uh, grab an SD card and uh, load those three files onto the SD card. Now, very important, there cannot be any other files on this SD card except for the three files that I'm going to provide the link for uh, on this video. So that's step one. Uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and pause the video here and uh, we're gonna go to the next step. So I've already downloaded the uh, firmware here. As you can see, I have three files. Like I said, the factory update, uh, the uh, the update zip and our recovery image. Our next step is going to be to grab these three files, copy them, and then we're going to paste them onto our external SD card. Um, so if you find your uh, external SD card here on your computer, I'm going to go here to uh, my PC and we go to our, uh, our SD card. You can see that I've already uh, put it on now very important nothing else can be on this SD card this is okay this lost directory this Android and this Android secure that's okay but they can't be any other files on this SD card except for these three files so very important uh, once we do that we're gonna move on to the next step alright now that you've downloaded the firmware onto your SD card what you're gonna have to do is plug this into the side of your Gbox Q now you'll notice here on your box that you have a reset button. You're gonna need either uh, a toothpick or uh, a paper clip or basically anything that you can kind of stick down in there. And uh, you're gonna hear a soft click. So what I'm gonna want you to do is to hold that button down and continue to hold it, right? We're gonna take the power out of the box, mash the button, continue to hold the button down, and then add the power to the unit. So you're going to wait about five seconds until you see the Matricom logo on the screen. And then it's going to go into, uh, into its update. So you see here that it's telling us that it's installing the system update. It's uh, finding the update packaging, opening the uh, update packaging, and then it's going to verify the update package. So we're going to wait for all this. It should take about 60 seconds or so for the update to complete. Now, I'm going to want you to use your Matricom remote control. I'm not going to want you to use your keyboard because if you use your keyboard when you're in Android recovery, this thing's just going to go crazy on you. So again, we're going to use the, uh, the, the Matricom remote control that came with your unit. All right, so our uh, update is complete. So what we're going to do is we're going to just press the OK button on the first option, which is Reboot System Now. All right. And uh, there we go. So again, what we're doing is downgrading the firmware from firmware 2.2 to uh, stable 2.1 so that the Gizmart Media clients can enjoy the benefit of remote technical assistance. All right, now that we've installed the firmware 1. Uh, or 2.1, uh, we're going to go ahead and go through the first step. Uh, we're going to first off select our language. I'm going to choose English. Uh, it's going to then uh, ask you to connect. I've already connected to Ethernet, so I'm just going to slide to the right and skip that. 
It's going to check for updates. I'm just going to skip to the right, skip that, and uh, press any button to go on to the next step. So our next step now is going to be to download uh, the super user. So an uh, easy way to do that would be to slide over here to uh, Google Chrome. Or if you don't have Google Chrome on your unit, you can slide to your uh, all apps and click on the browser. So just let me grab my keyboard. Now that we're here, we're going to go to Git. And I'm going to put a link for this. St oh, excuse me. Store dot. No. Hold on. It is. Get smart media dot store dot aptoid a p t o i d e dot com. All right, so we're going to go ahead and uh, click enter, and it's going to take us to the web page that we need. So again, that was getsmartmedia.store.aptoid.com. Now, I have quite a few apps on my uh, Get, Smart, Get Smart Media store. Uh, in this case, I'm going to download this latest version of Super User. This is version 2.78. To install it, very simply, just click on the Super User. And I'm going to click Install. So... So it's going to ask me how do I want to install. I'm going to go ahead and uh, I'm going to do it with Aptoid. No, no, you know what? Just to keep it simple for people who don't have Aptoid, I'm going to download it with the browser. So we're going to say just once. And uh, it's going to go ahead and, uh, and download the super user for us now. All right, so you may get this here. Parse error. There was a problem parsing the package. Don't worry, this that's nothing. Don't worry about it. So your next step would be either to sit here for a couple minutes until you get a pop-up that's going to ask you to install Super User, or you can be a little proactive and uh, let's back all the way out, right? Go to All Apps, and uh, again we're going to keep it simple. For those who don't have a, a unit that's programmed by me, we're going to click on the File Browser. All right, from here, very simply click on local disk and uh, click on download. So uh, here's the super user APK. I'm going to click right here. All right, so it still hasn't finished downloading. We actually have to wait for this to download complete before we can install it. And the reason that we're downloading this, ah, here we go. We're going to install. It's coming up with this because I already have Aptoid, except. So it's downloading the super user APK now. Now that it's actually downloaded, uh, Aptoid is not going to really let you download an application unless you have the application installed. So but you can follow the directions I've given you, and uh, it will install it for you, as you can see right now. All right, app has been installed, so we're going to just click open. And uh, here we go. Give it a minute. All right, do you wish to install Super SU? We're going to say OK. And uh, you're now downloading. Give it a moment for the download. We're at the 3%, 5%, 8%. It's going pretty quickly. We're about halfway there. Don't forget to subscribe to our store. And if there's any applications you would like to see, just let me know. And uh, I'll make sure I get it up there for you. All right, so this has been installed. So we're just going to back all the way out again, go back to our home screen, and uh, hold on, there we go. If we click on All Apps, we can go down, 
and uh, we can see that I'm an OP QRS. Here we go. Super user has been installed. Go ahead and give me a, uh, a little click there. Click new user. And uh, there we go. Updated SU binary. So uh, I'm going to end the video here and then we're going to go to the next step. We're back. So uh, thanks for hanging in there so far. Uh, we're almost done, I promise you. Uh, our next step is going to be to go to our uh, file manager. Now, if you don't have the file manager, you already uh, have the link for the, uh, the Get Smart Media store in Aptoid. So go there, the same place you got the uh, Super User APK, and uh, make sure that you download either the file manager or the ES File Explorer. They're both in right. there. Here's a quick tip inside your ES File Explorer. Uh, over here on the left, if we scroll down, we're going to see Root Explorer. We're going to go ahead and cut that on and uh, show hidden files. And there we go. All right. So once, uh, let's say, for instance, here, I'm in the ES File Explorer. All right. I'm going to want to click right here where it says zero. All right. And uh, I'm going to click over here on the top. I'm going to cancel this. Uh, click where it says emulated. We're going to our root directory. So I'm just going backwards right now. And you see this little slash here? When you, That's how you know you're in the root. All right. So from the root, I'm going to click on system. All right. When I click on system, I'm going to click on private app or priv app. And uh, in here, I'm going to see the firmware updater. All right. So uh, normally, you can't erase this. However, we now have root privilege, so we're going to just long press, hold down the button, right, and come down here to the little trash can, and we're going to delete this, all right? Once we delete this, we're about there. I'm just going to go all the way back now, all right? I'm going to give you a little example here. So if I slide over here to system settings, and I slide down and slide to the right to system updates and I click system update, it's just gonna take me back. I can do this all day long. It's never gonna take me to system update now because I've erased the updater. And why did we do that right now? Because we do not want it to uh, update to the firmware 2.2 because of all the bugs. So later on, I'll make a video and I'll give you a link on uh, how to reinstall it when uh, when I know that there's a stable version out there uh, or if you request it I'll go ahead and, and drop a link in the video so uh, I guess our next step from there would be to try and open Cody so and there we go so my Cody opened my PVR is uh, is is loading up I didn't lose any of my files uh, everything is still here. So, uh, we'll just go to video add-ons just so we can go ahead and confirm that. And we see that, yeah, we got 219 add-ons in there, access to about 2,000 in total. One thing about us, we're not shy about adding sources to our builds. So, uh, if you uh, have any questions or you want a link to uh, download for this build, this is the standard Get Smart Media build or uh, our Agent 86 build, which we're very proud of. Please comment below, or uh, I believe I already have a video. So check out our YouTube page. Don't forget to subscribe. Hopefully this helped you. Have a great day.